pray that may you guide us by your Holy Spirit. We pray, Father in heaven, that may you cause us to decrease while you increase. We give all our faculties, so Father in heaven, at your altar, Father in heaven, that you may use us, O oh, Father in heaven, for the furtherance of your kingdom. So Lord, we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. That Amen. You speak to me as Amen. we start off. In that's name we pray. Amen. 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 So I need with singing. Me, I normally love starting by singing. It puts me in the yes. atmosphere of prayer. Yes, sir. So, uh, let me start. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, 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 God we love you, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. Lord, we start off the world. that you are God and this. You so God, name of Jesus Christ, be mad. You God, you are you are you are Amen. Amen. Let's talk to thirty six. We want to give thanks to God. For thirty six things. Give thanks. Give thanks to the God of God, His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, His love endures forever. To Him who alone does great wonders, His love endures forever. Who by His understanding made the heavens, His love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day. His love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night. His love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them. His love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, his love endures forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led his people through the desert, his love endures forever. Who struck down the great, down great kings, his love endures forever and killed mighty kings. His love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, his love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, his love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever. An inheritance for his servant Israel, 
His love endures forever to the one who remembered us in our low estate. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. And who gives food to every creature? His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven for his love endures forever. I want us to go before the Lord. I'm beginning to thank him. Thank him for the week from Monday. I'm beginning to thank him for how how the Lord has carried you Tonight to him of his love that has kept you. The way you are up to date, it has taken the Lord. As we look forward tomorrow for the anniversary, we are going to celebrate God's love towards Let's talk about God's love. Whatever the Spirit of God requires, this is the moment you can confess it of how the Lord has been loving towards us as members of EIC, as families, as as nations. Just let's bring our love towards the towards the Lord. Let's bring a thanksgiving offering to the Lord. So let's pray and just tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you for carrying us through the last year up to now. Since the time EIC was founded, we thank you, O Lord. Thank you for putting this great idea upon the leaders, the founders of EIC. Thank you for each and every leader in EIC. Let's begin to pray. we are coming this evening, oh Lord. Lord, for your altar. We thank you because of what you've been doing, oh Lord. Even in the
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do believe and pray. Amen. Amen. Psalms 2, Psalms 2, Psalms 2, verse 7, it says, I'll read faster because of time. Verse 7 says, I'll proclaim the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son, they have become come here. This was a conversation that was happening in heaven between the father and the son. And we see uh, God the father saying, you are my son. Today I have become your father. And verse 8, which is very critical of us, you see, it says, ask of me. Ask of me. And I'll make the nations your inheritance. The ends of earth, your possession. What God desires of us is to ask. And what does God desire? We ask of him, not little things. He's asking that we come before him and ask for nations. We thank God for the nations that he has given us so far, but we know the vision of the EAC is to cover Africa and Asia and the US. So and pray and ask for the rest of the continent of Africa, where EIC does not have a foothold, and ask the Lord, give us these nations. Give us the nations that we have not been there. Give us South Africa. Give us Botswana. Mention these nations by name, and the Lord who hears us will give us these nations. Let's go and let's begin to pray and ask the Lord, give us nations. In verse, in verse 8, he says, ask of me. God is asking, telling the son, Ask of me, we are the sons of God, and I'll give you the nations. Let's begin to pray and ask the Lord, give us the nations of Africa, where EIC has not yet reached. Let's ask the Lord, give us South Africa, give us Nigeria, give us Egypt, give us Congo, give us Tanzania, give us Rwanda. Mention those things in your altar of father we come and ask 
in the east of Africa, we receive all the nations of Africa. In the north of Africa, we receive nations of heaven. In the south, we receive the nations. In Central Africa, we receive the nations. We receive the nations. We pray, oh Father, in heaven, that you shall establish EAC in this nation. We shall raise men and women in this nation. Find the market Amen. 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 Okay. okay, now let's uh let's go to Job 21, 22. The book of Job 22. We want to claim promises of the Lord from the book of Job 22, verse 21. To verse 30. Job 22, verse 21 to 30. I'll commence reading. It says, Submit to God and be at peace with Him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. Submit to God and be at peace with Him. In this way, Prosperity will come to you. Accept instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you'll be restored. If you remove wickedness far from your tent and assign your nuggets to dust, your gold of fear to the rocks in the ravines, then the Almighty will be your gold the choice is silver for you. Mm. Verse 26, surely then, surely then, you will find the light in the Almighty and will lift up your face to God. Verse 27, you will pray to him and he'll hear you. And you will fulfill your vows. Verse 28, what you did will be done and light will shine on you you on your ways. Verse 29, when men are brought low and you say, lift them up, then he will save the downcast. He will deliver even one who is not innocent, who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands. Amen? So I want us to begin to glean some promises from this scripture. In verse 21, it says, submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, there is a way of prosperity. There is not ways. There is a way of prosperity will come to you. And this way can only come to you through submission and being at peace. And you can ask ourselves, submission is an act of voluntarily accepting to be under authority. 
the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 16, I won't tell you to turn there, says, don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone to obey him as slaves, you are slaves to the one you obey? So I want us to go to before the Lord because there is a way of prosperity. There is a way. The world has many ways of prosperity. But in the kingdom, there is a way. And the first principle we find there, we glean from there, is submission. And submission is something that you do from your own end. It's you do it from your own, voluntarily. You're not forced. So it says, submit to God, not to men, to God, and be at peace to him. So I want us to go before the Lord this evening, where we have not submitted to God, voluntarily, be it in our family, be it in our businesses, the way we do or conduct our businesses, let's begin and to ask the Lord to forgive us. In whatever sphere, area in your life that you've not submitted to the Lord, I want you to go before the Lord and ask the Lord and begin to repent. Ask the Lord, please forgive me where I've not submitted, whether consciously or unconsciously because you can hide in the unconscious part, but even when you go before the Lord and begin to repent, and ask the Lord, ask the Lord, forgive me, repent, where you've not submitted fully to the Lord. Lord, we come before you this evening to submit before you, O Lord. Where, where, O Lord, I have not submitted my will my conscience, my conscience to you. Lord, I ask that you may forgive me. Forgive us all, Father, in heaven. For lack of submission, O Father, in heaven. Forgive us all, Father, in heaven. Lord, we come, O Father, in heaven. Lord, we come, O Father, in heaven. Where we have not submitted to you, Lord, we repent. We repent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a ministry of PIC, we repent where we have not submitted to you. As a corporate, we repent. As individuals, oh Lord, we repent where we have not submitted to you. We repent of the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe in Christ. Amen. It says, submit to God and be at peace with him. Be at peace with him. Bring your petitions. The things that have been troubling you. You don't look for your shortcuts. Before that problem, that issue that you have in your life, have you presented it to the Lord first? That, that God is saying, and be at peace with him. Whatever that has been troubling you, the word of God says in, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplications. Maybe it's that small thing that you've been praying for for a very long time, and now you've decided to use shortcuts to get into to get onto them. I want to submit you today. The Lord is calling you to submit it again. Submit that petition. Submit it to the Lord. Be at peace with Him. Don't rebel. Don't go to look for solutions from men. Don't go to look for solutions from other quarters. God is saying, bring every petition to me. Be at peace with me. And God is able to give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. So I want us to go before the Lord. If perchance you've got things you're holding in your heart, there are things that you've not confessed before the Lord that are not giving you peace in your spirit, you know yourselves better. Please begin to 
bring them to the Lord. This is the opportunity now. The Lord is speaking that bring those petitions to him. Bring those burdens to him this evening in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he Amen. shall surely bear them for you. So let's go with every issue to not the Lord. It can be a family matter. It can be a business matter. Lord, our desire is to have peace with you, Father. Our Lord, we've come to understand today that because we don't bring each everything to you, that's why, Lord, we are not settled. But today, oh, Father, I with my family, oh, Father, I bring my business before you. Whatever has been told me, I bring everything of them that have troubled me, oh Lord, before your altar this morning. What I download everything of a spirit. Amen. Amen. And then the Bible tells me, in this way, not ways, in this way, pros prosperity will come to you. Meaning it yes. will be automatic. Yes. You don't sweat for it. Yes, sir. It will be automatic. Hmm? So that, that prosperity comes to us. I want us to go and start this prayer because there's a, this way. And maybe in your walk of life, even up to today, you have, seeked, uh, you have been seeking other ways. Let's begin to ask the Lord. Oh, no, no, let's, ask first, let's just start first by repenting and asking the Lord, forgive us for going out of your way. Restore us back to the path of prosperity that you ordained before even time. So let's begin to go before the Lord and repent where we have found ourselves going out of the way of prosperity. Maybe it was that business that you didn't use the correct way to get the money. You know yourself, it was in the family. You know you wanted to go ahead of people. So like I said, Bosaka, <laughs> <laughs> We must be like a sheep in the middle of the night. We must be like a sheep in the middle of the night. We must be like a sheep in the middle of the night. We must be like a sheep in the middle of the night. We repent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The same, same prayer point. Same, same prayer point. But I want us now to ask God to bring us back to the original way of prosperity. By his spirit. 
Let's begin to ask God, restore me to the original way of prosperity. Restore me, Lord. Now that you, had, you have repented, we, we don't stop there. We ask the Lord for us to back to the original we thank you for the story us in a way of your prosperity. Thanks for us this evening. We are restored all for the name of the original way of prosperity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are restored. Verse 22. Verse 22. It says, accept instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. Accept instructions from his mouth and lay up his words in your mouth. In your return, in, in, if you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. When we talk about restoration, it means there was something that was taken away and now it's given back to you. The Bible says, if you can only accept instruction, if you can only accept instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart, it talks about here, obedience and meditation of God's word. O obedience, if you can only obey. Obedience and meditation way of restoration. Whatever the enemy had taken away from you, God is saying, if you can only obey me now. And if you really be instructed by me, if you read in, um, to buttress that point, if you read in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 14, after God had spoken to Solomon, God gave him a condition. After he had told him so, very, so many good things, if you want to maintain what I'll give you, as a promise, God told Solomon to Obey his word. The condition was obedience. The condition was obedience. So that the promise can be kept. If you break the obedience, the promise disappears. He had given big promises to Solomon. But he's saying, these promises can only be kept if you obey. And they can be kept even to a long life, and not only to you, even to your descendants down there. So obedience is very key when it comes to promises. So I want us to repent again of any act of disobedience we may have uh, brought ourselves into that would have taken us out of the promise of God in our lives. You know God spoke to you. You know that God promised you that your, your business is supposed to be this place at this, this time. God spoke in your family, but you disobeyed. 
commission, which you didn't do probably. But I want us to go before the Lord this evening and beginning to, and begin to repent and ask God, Lord, forgive us for act of disobedience that may have hindered my promises. I had your promises when I got saved. I had your promises when you told me to open my business. I had, I had, I had. But God, why is it not coming forth? Did I disobey? It will need a retracing of our steps. So I want us to go before the Lord and ask to repent even before we start talking to him and repent of any act of disobedience that you may have found yourself in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's pray. Lord, I come before you this evening, Lord, to repent of any act of disobedience that may have in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We need to go back to God. We don't know what God has promised you. I want us to pray over those promises. Tell the Lord, now that I have repented, please restore every promise that you had for me when I got saved, when I got married, of my children, of my family, of that business. Let's go before the Lord. Let's use this time wisely. As in this altar, on this altar, that Lord, every promise that you had in my life, today restore them. Restore them in my family, in my life, in everything of them. I had you. I had you, Lord, then. Please restore. Lord, I pray for restoration. Restoration of every promise of Father in heaven that you spoke upon my life, over my business of Father. Lord, you spoke of Father in heaven, of how you make me to be great in the business. You spoke of Father in heaven, of how I'm just great children of Father in heaven. Upon this point, who we spoke. Lord, you spoke, you spoke, you spoke over my life of Father in heaven. the promises that you promised me over my business, oh Father. In time past, but I've not been fulfilled. Lord, today, we pray that we fulfill each and every promise of Father in heaven. In Jesus' name, we will be in the interest of time, I'll begin to wind up. I'll just wind up. Uh, it says in verse 27. <laughs> Uh, let me start from um, mm. away from your tent. 
and assign your nuggets to the dust, your gold to offer it to the rocks in the ravines. Then the Almighty will be your gold and the choicest silver for you. Surely then you'll find find delight in the Almighty lift face to God. You will pray to him. Thank God this evening we are praying. You will pray to him and he'll hear you. Today the Lord is hearing you and you will fulfill your goals. Verse 28 says, verse says whatever what you decide on will be done. What is, do you need to be done? Are you procrastinating? Whatever you decide today on this altar will be done. Is it is a decision to invest today? Whatever you decide will be done. God is giving you an open check. God is giving you an open check. And I shine on your ways. If you look here, it's saying on your ways. Whatever way you took, you take, the light of the Lord will shine up on you. So I want us to go before the Lord and ask the Spirit of the Lord to give you boldness to make the decisions. Because most of the decisions we don't make because of procrastination. Most of the decisions we don't make because of fear. But the Bible tells me, whatever you decide will be done. This is the promise. After we have removed, after we've repented, after we've removed wickedness, after you've submitted, whatever you decide will be done. So I don't know what you need to be decided in your life, in your marriage. Is it getting a spouse? That you decide today will be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's go before the Lord. Verse 29, he says, when men are brought low, amen, when men are brought low, and you say, lift them up, then he will save the downcast. This talks all about, I had to, today we have the class, I said, the man was talking about the authority, when men are brought low. Once all those things have been fulfilled, this is the promise that God is saying, giving us today. When men are brought low, and you say, lift them up, then he will save the downcast. God is giving you authority over scorpions, over serpents, over everything that does not reflect the image of God for you to rectify. He will back us up. So let's go before the Lord and thank him for his spiritual power of authority. Let the spirit of God help us to be bold. Help us to be bold. We are the salt of the earth. We receive power and authority over the devil, over the power of the kingdom of darkness. We receive power and authority over the devil. 
Prayer points before I invite uh, Sister Halita. Verse 30 says, He will deliver even one who is not innocent. Very profound. That talks about evangelism. Who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands? That's a promise. God is saying, You've received spiritual power and authority. Now you will deliver even the lost. And as part of EIC mission is to bring the gospel to the lost. So I want us to pray and begin to thank God and ask God to help us to deliver men and women who still do not know him. Men and women who still have not come to the non saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the Lord use you as an instrument to bring the harvest to his kingdom. Amen? So I want us to pray and ask the Lord, use you as a tool to bring his harvest. Spirit. Thank you so much, sir, for that wonderful prayer session. We are, we are welcome once more to our 
Friday prayer meeting. When we join in the call today, we confess the promises of God from scripture. And as we all know, tomorrow is our one year anniversary. And if you has been a blessing to you, I want you to shout the loudest glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He indeed has a mind blowing testimony in the life of, lives of many, including me. And we are grateful to God, hallelujah, for taking us thus far. It is 12 months already, it's one year already. Glory to God. Um, the, the prayers we're going to be taking will be centered on EIC tomorrow anniversary. That's what we'll be praying for. We'll be thanking God even now for all that he has done. The Bible talking to us in the book of Joshua chapter 21, verse 45, it says, no one of the good promises which the Lord had made to the house of Israel failed. So let me rephrase it. No one of the good promises which the Lord had made to the house of EIC failed. Glory to God. Amen. All came Hallelujah. To Hallelujah. Yes, we have, we have so many testimonies recorded. Is it healing? Is it people's prayer altar catching fire, coming back on fire? Is it the spiritual gifts that have been bestowed upon us? So many testimonies, so many testimonies. Is it the expansion? God has expanded us and he's still expanding us. God has been so faithful. Is it the wisdom? Is it the the, the rema in the teachings and in the materials that EIC um, bring out? All that God has been so faithful. So we're going to open our mouth and pray and thank God once more. Yes, Mr. Mr. James already prayed prayer of thanksgiving for EIC, but we're going to pray also. We're going to thank God once more for taking us thus far. We're going to thank him for every single miracle, for every single testimony, for expansion, for his mercies, for his wisdom, for his kindness, for his protection. He's protected so many of us for his deliverance. So many were delivered from witchcraft. So many were, were set free from, from um, generational causes. So we're just going to begin to magnify the Lord and begin to thank him for all he's done throughout the year. And we're going to be saying, Father, Father, thank you. Holy Spirit, we magnify you. Jesus, we glorify you. We thank you for such a in the name of Jesus, We're really grateful, Father. And our second prayer point will be taken from the book of First King, chapter 8, verse 56. Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people, Israel. I will rephrase that. 
Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people, entrepreneurs in Christ. Hallelujah. According to all that he promised, no one had fought to, no one has failed of all his good promises, which he promised through his prophet Moses. Which he, which he promised through his process, Mr. Demola, his pro prophet, Mr. Demola, none of his promises came to, fell, fell to the ground. So we're going to still be praying even now. We're going to be thanking God and we're going to be decreeing over the program tomorrow for, for the celebration and the, the Thanksgiving program throughout different nations in Kenya, in Ghana, in Nigeria. We're going to be committing these programs into the hands of the Lord and we're decreeing the success of this program. Um, yes, we're decreeing that from the beginning, from the, the opening prayer to when we are leaving, that God is going to take absolute control, that everything will be done by the excellence of the leading of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. We're committing the program tomorrow into the hands of God. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, everything is taken care of by the power of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, also talking to us in the book of second peter chapter 3 verse 9 he says the lord is not slow about his promises as some count slowness but is patient towards you not wishing for any of not wishing for any to perish but for all to come to repentance god is not slow yes he promised eic that is giving us is giving us nations the, the uh, um african nations and he's not slow to his promises we've seen the the the, the, the there's a preaching my pastor will say when you see the finger of god when you thank him for his finger you will see his hands his five fingers when you thank him for that you will see his outstretched arm so we're going to be thanking god for what he's done for eic once more and we know that he's not slow to what he's doing that he has the perfect plan so we're going to be committing those plans we're going to be saying lord we thank you for we know you have the perfect plans for EIC and you're taking us places and you're taking us to the uttermost part of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen.
EIC has been a blessing to you, you will really take that prayer point seriously because you will want others to enjoy, other entrepreneurs to come to test this thing that you've tested in at EIC. Okay, as our last prayer point will be gotten from the book of Agai chapter 2, verse 5. And it says, as for the promise which I made, which, which I made you when you came out of Egypt, my spirit is abiding in you, in your midst. Do not fear. As for the promise which I made to you when you came out of Egypt, my spirit is abiding in you, in your midst. Do not fear. We're going to be praying. God had, he had promised EIC, he has promised the founder. Yes, he knows what he saw in the eyes of the spirit. He knows where God is taking us to. So we're going to also pray. We know that the spirit of God is always in our midst. Every time we come at this altar and we cry, we always know that the Holy Spirit comes with us. So we're going to be praying even for tomorrow's program, even now. We're going to be praying for the outpour of the presence of God. It's going to be a thanksgiving, a time of worship. And so we're going to be praying just like this. The disciples were in the upper room and they were worshiping God and the Holy Spirit came upon each and every one of them. We're going to be praying for the outpour of his presence throughout our meetings in every location that there will be so much of the Holy Spirit upon everyone. Yes, so everybody will experience the divine presence of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And it will not just be a feeling. It will not just be a shaking. There will be so much impactation in their spirit that they will go home and they will continue in their sleep they will continue Amen. The Holy Spirit, I just as I was saying, I saw wings, or oh, I heard wings, and the Holy Spirit said he's giving EIC new wings. Hallelujah. He's giving EIC new wings, and we are flying to different territories in the Amen. name of Jesus. Even those Amen. places. The devil has demarcated or put a wall or a fence. We are breaking through and we are going there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Jesus. Let's just thank God for thank that prophecy. Let's thank, thank him for you, the thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Your word is there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. and the spirit of god is saying we're going to laugh eic every eic member even as we're stepping into this new year as we're starting another journey he said throughout this one year we are going to laugh and Amen. I just want you to just laugh up now whatever challenge it might be just laugh at it for the Holy Spirit has given us
in the Amen. 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 Congratulations to each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. Mr. J, can you run off the prayer meeting, sir? Okay. Let's believe and pray. Our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we want once again to thank you because before we start the meeting, we ask for Lord that may you guide us through your spirit for a time of prayer. And Lord, now that you've come to the conclusion of the same, Lord, we want to give all honor and glory to you. Thank yes, you for Lord. the men and women, oh Lord, that you brought to the altar today. May their lives never be the same again. Amen. In this mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we also pray for tomorrow. We pray yes, for Father. every location of Father in heaven that will be celebrating the anniversary of Father in heaven. Let there be a manifestation of Father in heaven of the extraordinary happening yes, in these locations because yes, you will be in the attend in the mighty yes, name of your son Jesus. Lord, I pray yes, that let there be an impact of Father in heaven in every location to the men and women who will be coming. Lord, we pray that may you begin to stir men's hearts from the east, from the west, from the south, from the, yes. from the uh, north, oh Lord, to come to the locations yes. tomorrow. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that of all, Lord, we shall be, we shall be one as we celebrate yes. first anniversary. We thank you, O Father in heaven, even as we look forward to that day. We secure that day by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. We Amen. Amen. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you all for joining in. Thank you. Good yes, nice. Thank you. Bye. Bye.